determination is configured entirely using the condition technique. So if you have not finished condition technique in pricing, please go back and finish it. But if you have already finished condition technique, account determination is going to be a walk in the park. All you have to understand is the concepts. If you finish the previous chapter, you're almost good to go. All right, so let's go to SPRO, IMG, Sales and Distribution, Basic Functions, Account Assignment. You can see different kinds of account determinations here, right? We are only interested in just two of them. What are they? Revenue account and reconciliation account. The way you configure either of this is exactly the same. No difference. You see the sequence of steps. Similar. The only difference is you are doing a revenue accounts here and you are doing a recon account here. If you understand what a recon account is, you really don't need to focus much on recon account determination. If you understand revenue account determination, you understand recon account determination as well. So you don't need to spend any time on recon account determination configuration. Just focus on revenue account determination. So let's start with revenue account determination. The first step is to check the master data. What kind of master data are we talking about? It says something about account groups. Where did we see these? For example, customer account group. Any guess? Naturally in the customer master, right? Same with the material account group in the material master. Let's go look at it real quick. Go to VD02, enter customer, some customer, say 21. Our favorite sales area, 101000. Go to sales view, billing tab, and this is the account group. We didn't specify anything here. It's blank. Does this mean we cannot use this customer to create invoices? No, of course not. This is just one parameter. And in account determination, this parameter is optional. You can choose it or not. It's your choice. What are the choices here? Say this is a domestic customer, 21. Set it as zero 01. How about material account assignment group? Go to MM02, enter a material, go to the sales view, and where is the account assignment group? Here. The way we set these parameters, meaning customer account assignment group or material account assignment group, is based on the requirements of the accounting department. Now, this is very important. We don't determine which accounts the revenue needs to go to or the tax needs to go to. So, who gives us the requirements? The accounting department. They give us the requirements, we just can't figure them. Let's take an example. Take a company like Dell. They sell a wide range of products, right? Hardware, software, accessories, and 
they sell it to a wide range of customers as well us customers the rest of the world customers military customers government customers so how is this all tracked from an accounting perspective i mean the accounting department typically divides revenue into different buckets for example all hardware sales for us customers needs to go into this account 8 da 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 da, da 10 think of this account as a bucket essentially what we are trying to do in revenue account determination is categorizing revenue into buckets the accounting department gives us the buckets we just you know take a pipe and fill it that's it and all of this should happen automatically behind the scenes the user who is creating the invoice does not have any idea where the revenue is flowing they don't need to know it it's our job to make it happen automatically based on the requirements of the accounting department but in order to configure this to happen automatically we have to first categorize the customers and materials as belonging to certain categories and the master data that we talked about customer account group material account group these are just ways to tag customers or materials as belonging to certain groups and what is the sole purpose of these groups to affect accounting now you might have another question why create these new set of fields if you have gone through the customer and material master classes you know fields like customer group material group why not just use those simple sales requirements are different from finance requirements example sales can have their own way of grouping customers to give discounts set price lists etc etc so we have seen one example in pricing right using the customer group and accounting can have their own requirements example um they might want all us revenues for hardware to go into one account irrespective of if the customer is a corporate customer or a government customer or if the product that they are selling is a pc or a laptop sometimes these groups can be the same when i mean these groups sales related customer tags like customer group material groups or accounting related tags like customer account group or material account group but that depends on the business requirement but what sap is giving us here is a different way to categorize master data meaning customer master and material master from a sales perspective and accounting perspective well like i said this is optional though you don't have to use these fields to do account determination you could do it without as well just like pricing field catalog has so many fields to choose from right 200 of them but do you need to use all of them no of course not same thing with your account determination field catalog it has a bunch of fields like customer account assignment group material account assignment group order reason so on and so forth but you don't have to use all of them these are just some examples and like i said the requirements come from the fi consultant so when finance decides the buckets into which the revenue needs to flow into 
why are we involved meaning sd consultants that is because the flow happens from sd this is the source so we have to configure sd in such a way that the revenue flows into the right buckets based on the requirements of fi if you take the same dell example say laptops and desktops go into separate accounts sure now does it always happen like that maybe not say um, they are running a promotion in this case the accounting does not want the laptop sales to sit in this account instead into this account 800020 the same thing with desktops this is standard sale this is promo sales how do you solve this requirement the first question that you ask is how do you identify a promo sale say anything with a zor or zstd standard anything that is similar to a standard order is standard sales right i'm just hypothesizing promo sales could also be the same but the cust but the customer could be using a promo code so if you see a promo code take the revenue to a different account and if not take the revenue to the original account next question how do you identify the promo code different ways depends on the de depends on how promotions are implemented ultimately though maybe some parameter in pricing would affect your promotions right maybe a certain parameter in pricing say a special customer group is used maybe a special coupon code is used somewhere that somehow we configure to flow into the field catalog and create condition tables based on that field and create condition records based on that condition table so what we are saying is creating data in such a way that under these circumstances the revenue needs to go into these accounts as opposed to these accounts promo code is just one example you could have other examples say customer group if you take the same example think of two customer groups domestic and international domestic should go here international should go here either way our job is to identify the right set of parameters make sure they are available in the condition record and use condition technique to configure the scenario in the next chapter we'll do the configuration in spro